Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll recover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. You know, yesterday I was listening to a show from the Pull Up Basketball Podcast. And BJ is someone that, if you guys don't know the channel, go check it out. He puts out some pretty good content, and he's a Clippers insider. I believe he also works with the Clippers. So if you want some Clippers news, make sure you go check them out. You know, the situation with Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers is a tragic one. But not only is it a tragic situation, it's also an infuriating circumstance. Some of y'all are like, what are you talking about? For as disappointing as Kawhi Leonard has been in terms of his availability, What's even more disappointing and infuriating is how the Clippers organization have handled the Kawhi Leonard situation. When it comes to public relations and managing a crisis, they are absolutely lousy. I'm talking about the Clippers organization. I said it about a year or so ago. I said the Clippers as a team is doing a serious disservice to his star players and they are contributing to the to the to the to the what is it to the erosion of their star players re reputation in the public forum some of you are like well, what are you talking about the clippers have some very nasty habits the two nasty habits i believe are number one they conceal information Number two, they lie when they do speak. That's what they do. They will conceal information. And then when they do give information, it usually makes absolutely no sense. And what usually ends up happening is they end up leading their fan base along just to disappoint them at the end. When really, that's what they were planning on doing all along. But nevertheless... They dangle the carrot of hope and say, oh, no, 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 no. There's hope. There's hope. Some of you are like, well, can you give me some examples of this? I, I absolutely will. You don't have to worry about it. You remember the year the Clippers made their run to the Western Conference Finals and they were playing against the Utah Jazz. I think they, yeah, they played against the Utah Jazz in round two where they, and then they lost to the Sun. Yeah, so it was in the Utah Jazz series. They were on game four. Right? Yes. Game four, because I think they saw that series on the road, if I'm mistaken. Kawhi Leonard, towards the end of the game, the Clippers are winning game four. At home. I forgot the guy's name, the, the, the player's name. I think he plays with the Pistons. I forgot his name. Bumps into Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard runs off the side, like kind of limping. At the end of the game, Kawhi says, because people are now panicking, is he injured? The series is tied 2-2. Kawhi says, no, he feels good. They were like, okay, good. Kawhi Leonard feels good. Then, not too long after that, we hear Kawhi Leonard can't play for game five. And we're like, but I thought Kawhi just said he was he was good. Then, the next thing we hear, Kawhi Leonard's return is indefinite. Then, the next thing we see is that, uh, 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 what is it? He's um, game to game. Game to game. And then you see Kawhi sitting at the games in street clothes. And then what are fans thinking? Man, this is a tight series. These are tight series. They're not going to go to the Western Conference Finals. This is a tight series. Is Kawhi going to come back? Is Kawhi going to come back? And the entire time, the Clippers knew that Kawhi Leonard was not going to come back. But nevertheless, they kept on leading on the fan base to feel like he would. And then what happens? We hear that Kawhi Leonard needs to have off-season surgery. He's gone. Then he misses an entire year. Then he comes back, and we're like, okay, Kawhi's back. He's healthy. Then we hear, oh, Kawhi Leonard has to, he's going to be coming off the bench. And we're like, what? And then there's no information. Then he starts coming off the bench. Then he starts playing. And then they say, oh, Kawhi Leonard's going to miss the next few games. What's the reason? Oh, they're just managing a situation. We don't know what's going on. This is the fan base. Then he comes back. Then he starts playing. And then what happens? He gets into the playoffs against the Phoenix Suns. In round one, excuse me, in game one, he puts up an absolutely classic 38-point 
performance. They beat the Suns. Get this. Game two, he goes out there and he scores 30. And he looks fantastic. And at the end of the game, what do the Clippers say? Kawhi Leonard will miss game three. Then they go, he'll miss game four. Then they go, he's probable for game five. Then they go, he's probable for, and then they lose. Then the next year, it happens all over again. Now, in the midst of all of this happening, with Kawhi out, with Paul George out, and the team not giving the the the, the public uh, 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 correct information, what then happens? People start, start to speculate. Man, Kawhi Leonard don't want to play. Kawhi Leonard just up there stealing money. Kawhi just up there, man. Kawhi can't play. You got people like Stephen A. Smith going off on TV, but Kawhi don't want to play. Kawhi don't want to do this. Kawhi just want to collect the check. But then we hear other reports, man, Kawhi Leonard wants to play. He really, really wants to play. It's just that the Clippers won't let him. He really, and then we start hearing all of the, and in the midst of all of this, whose reputation is getting tarnished? The players. The players. So now the reputation of Kawhi Leonard as a basketball player, unfortunately, is yes, he's a great player when he's healthy. But there's some people that say, oh, he's the load management king. Oh, Kawhi Leonard, man, he just up there collecting a the check. Oh, Kawhi Leonard and Ben Simmons, they should be roommates. Oh, uh, and that's the reputation. Because why? The Clippers refuse to give correct information. Let's fast forward to the present. Kawhi gets injured in the playoffs. I want y'all to I want to walk you through the, the 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 incompetence of the Clipper organization. He gets injured in the playoffs. They said he was uh dealing with swelling or something like that. Good. They lose. Kawhi Leonard gets some work done on his knees. Follow the story very well, folks. I want you people to follow it very very well. Follow it closely. Then they start assembling Team USA. Kawhi Leonard makes it on the team. Stop. If you make it on Team USA, don't that mean that you can play? If you make it on Team USA, doesn't that mean you can play? I think it does, right? Kawhi Leonard gets there. They start going through the training and all of that stuff. And then out of nowhere, we hear that Kawhi Leonard is leaving Team USA. Then we go listen to team. Uh, I, I go listen to Lawrence Frank. And do you know what Lawrence Frank said? Do you know what Lawrence Frank said? Because people were assuming that Steve Ballmer and those guys told him to come back so he can be ready for the season. But that's not what happened. Leave it to the Clippers. Do you know what Lawrence Frank said? It wasn't our decision to Kawhi. And Kawhi is very disappointed. So it wasn't your decision which means that you were perfectly okay with, with Kawhi Leonard playing which means that Kawhi Leonard was health, healthy but then miraculously he got removed from Team USA so the question now becomes which one is it is Kawhi Leonard hurt did you guys not know or what's going on and then the recent comments are from Lawrence Frank which I read yesterday which I'm not going to which I'm not gonna, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna assault. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read that nonsense for you guys again. I'm just, I'm just gonna paraphrase it for you. He goes, you know, uh, he, he's ready, he looks good, but he's just not having any contact right now. We're just holding him out of contact because we want to monitor the situation to ensure that he has a fantastic season and he has a fantastic, uh, has more fantastic years to come. But he's not gonna start, and he's not gonna have any contact what like what are you talking about right now and at the end of all of this whose name gets uh uh uh, 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 uh what is it uh dragged through the mud Kawhi Leonard Kawhi man he this man Kawhi Leonard he that man Kawhi Leonard he this man Kawhi Leonard he that man and da 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 da, -da. you can thank the Clippers for that the most useless organization when it comes to communicating information I blame them Kawhi Leonard being injured yeah, that's not his fault. You can get injured. You can have a frail physique. But all of this misinformation and disinformation that the Clippers uh, 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 spew out there to the public, I blame them. It, the Clippers are a, uh, a joke. They, you want to support them and they make you not want to support. You like, you want to support? They like, you want to support us? Y'all want to support us? All y'all want to support us? Y'all sure y'all want to support us? They're like, let's have a meeting. Everybody will have. So what we're going to do is 
We're going to do everything in our power to piss off all of our supporters. The first thing we're going to start doing, guys, is we're just going to start lying to them. What do you think? I think that's great. You think that? I think that's great. Okay, let's go do it. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Man, I ain't wasting a, a second of my time covering the Clippers this season. I have better things to do than cover the Clippers with their lying asses and telling you all kind of nonsense. Kawhi Leonard can come back game two. He can play two games and be like, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. We're going to be monitoring the situation for the next month. We'll see you guys. In, we'll see you guys in December. That's the Clippers for you.